Hey everyone, welcome to Kate's Critters. I'm Kate, and this is Nutmeg. Nutmeg is a dwarf hamster, and he lives in a 40-gallon breeder aquarium. His cage is 648 square inches. Today we'll be setting up his cage in a naturalistic theme. I hope you enjoy today's video. So I didn't video this part, but all I've done is put the tunnel into the bedding. The bedding I use is a mixture of paper bedding, aspen bedding, and orchard grass hay. I put the hay in there to make the burrows better. So this is just a homemade platform I made out of cardboard and some toilet paper tubes and, and I'm going to be putting the sand bath on top of it. So this is the sand bath I'm going to be using for the sand obviously and then um, for this platform, it's just a platform that can go to the corner, so it saves space too. And then underneath it, there's going to be another house that fits into the corner, and he can go in it. And then on the platform, he's going to have his food dish and his water dish, I don't know, maybe some other things. So this is a homemade multi-chamber hideout that we made out of wood and then there's openings in it for him to go into the different sections and then the lid is made out of popsicle sticks. So that, this is a giant piece of grapevine wood that I got from Petco, which is ginormous. I was not expecting it to be so big and so chunky. But it is and it works great and that Meg likes it so that's all that really matters right <laughs> i ordered it online by the way that's why i didn't know how big it was actually gonna be so this is a glass jar with wood pellets in that i got from a local pet store but the jar i got for 50 cents is a great deal from a flea market so if you're trying to find cheap stuff and reuse stuff Definitely check out like Philly markets and secondhand stores and stuff like that because you'll definitely find some stuff for your hamster there. So this is the wheel I use for him. It's an eight inch nine inch wheel. And then the sand is just play sand. Children's play sand. And then I'm just putting a tube back there for him to go through. But I ended up taking it away since he didn't really like it. And then this is just a how <clears throat> the house you're about to see. Cause you know, I know the future is a KT wooden house. That's just that places just found at pet store. This is Eco or Coconut Fiber, and then I got this glass container at like Dollar General or some dollar store for pretty cheap, and I use it for, I usually use a sand bath, but I built that other one so you can have a bigger one, and now I'm going to be using this for his coconut fibers, and I think he's really going to like it. So this is a homemade mushroom hideout that my sister made for him, and I love it so much, so thank you for that. 
and it's used with Crayola paint so it's completely safe and then this is a ceramic food dish and then I'm just going to be putting some rocks around for naturalness, scrapiness, I don't know and then yeah just I found them outside they're completely clean so don't worry about that and then that's just a plastic tree stump house that I got at some pet store <laughs> for him and it's just gonna go in his coconut fiber So that's just an old coaster that I'm going to be putting under his water bottle to keep his nails trimmed down. And then that's the chew toy. It's one of the only chew toys he actually chews on, so that's why I put it on there, even though it's kind of creepy. That's just an apple stick that's clean from outside. And that's a Night Angel Bendy Bridge, and I got a pack of two of them for the same price as one, so that was really nice. And then I'm just putting it down there so you can get down to that area easier. Just moving that house to make it fit better in his cage and make more sense. And I moved some of the rocks around and moved that house backwards so I could put in this larger bendy bridge so it can get out easier. And I moved stuff down more since it was pretty steep. So I'll do that in a little bit. And then just moving more rocks around for him. And then that's the other Night Angel Bendy Bridge that I'm just going to be putting in there. And then that is just a oxbow hay tunnel. I think it's meant for rabbits, but it's just as fine as a tunnel too. So that's what I use it for. And I usually use it to get him out of the cage when I put him in his playpen and stuff like that. And then this is what I was talking about earlier. I moved some of the toys around to make it easier for him to get around because it was pretty steep. So this is just his KT water bottle that I put over the coaster. And this is his water dish. It's an uh, old tea light candle holder, but it's completely clean with no candle wax in it. This is a terracotta foraging pot toy that I made, and that's a mushroom chew toy that I also made. And I got the Oxpo, Ox, Oxpo terracotta pot forage toy, and it was giant, so I made my own. And then this is a seed mix. It's sunburst food, seed mix for dribbles and hamsters in Missouri rat and mouse food, with like some herbs and insects in it, too. And this is the foraging snack thing from Katie, and I use the hamster one and the guinea pig and bunny one because they're both completely safe and I'm just putting the hamster one in his different forage toys because he enjoys actually eating it more but the herbs make his cage look very nice and naturalistic. So this is an oat spray. This is, I use tropical carnival brand most of the time. And I'm just putting two of them around its cage for him. And then this is millet spray. I'm just gonna put one on them since they have a lot of seeds on them. I'm just gonna put it over there by his platform. Now I'm just gonna let him explore his new cage. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll see you later, bye. <laughs>
Thank you.